Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Geek Fuel unboxing! Today's is March, we are in March and I've actually got it at March and it's March I'm recording it. I'm actually within good time. I'm doing good this time. So yeah, March is on Geek Fuel. It, the box looks a little bit bigger than normal, so we'll get straight into it, shall we? We'll just open it up and see what's in it. Something's moving. And all I see is everything falling out at once. Okay, so we have. Oh, is that like. I recognise that picture from somewhere. But I'm not sure which. Is that like Ready Player One or something? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we have all sorts. So let's do t shirt first. T shirt first. And I'm going to put the box down over here so that I can uh, get stuff sorted. I think I know what the t shirt is, unfortunately, because I just saw it on the. The thing that you see, and I don't know how well you just heard me in like stuff, but yeah, Geek Fuel exclusive T-shirt. Let's open it up. It's a yellow T-shirt. Oh my gosh! I actually, have a colour. Um. Ah, it's not quite what I thought. I've actually have seen uh, some amount of hints to it. Uh, here's here's one hint. It's a Star Trek shirt, and colour should be another hint, maybe. And to drop it down, and it is Kirk, Captain Kirk. That's quite a cool shirt. I quite like. I'm very pleased with that. Let's put this on. It doesn't. It isn't, I'm just because I'm not pulling the right bit. I'm pulling my old shirt. It's Captain Kirk. Quite cool. And I've got my shirt is all tangled. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so next thing. That's the cool shirt. I like the shirt. I like uh, Star Trek as it is. So we have... It is player, Ready Player One. That's what I thought, that picture. I'm sure it is. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, this is a game of some sort. Unlock the gate giveaway. Ooh. And there's a key, key ring. Key, key ring. I should open it and show you. Why, why, why you do it design like this? I want to open it. Aha! And twizzle, and twizzle, and there's another one. How did I not see that? And come away. One bit. Two bit. Bit. And it's a key key ring. So ready player one and all related characters and elements product. Yeah, okay, it's basically just a copyright type thing, but that's that's quite cool. I haven't seen the film, so I don't know what it's all about, but it's called cool keyring. Uh, the only issue is key rings don't tend to last very long with me, so as it's a nice looking thing, I might just put it up behind me somewhere. Find somewhere nice to put it. But uh, that is the game. Well, there's a game or something in here. So does your crystal key code unlock the grand prize? A HTC Vive. Ooh. Do you daydream about escaping life or visiting your favourite fictional world? We do too. There's an, no oasis yet, but here's your chance to win. Access to a different reality. Enter your ID and code below at geekfuel.com forward slash rpo and you could score an an score an that doesn't quite make a HTZ Vive VR system Ooh. I'm going to do that straight after this video because you never know I might win right so we have the pin badge uh, so the truth is out there this is something from the X-Files and I want to believe so there is um Several different versions that, that, that you can just about see what I've got if the light wouldn't shine off of it. And what could have been is all these people Fox, Grey Alien, Dana, or Scully and Mulder, Mulder and Scully? I don't know. And then Richard Langley, Ultra Rare. Which one's the Ultra Rare one? I actually have. I think I actually have the ultra rare one. I think that, that 
I actually have an ultra rare one. Ah, ultra rare. But now that I have an ultra rare one, I don't know whether I want to take it out of the box and put it on my wall. I will probably because why wouldn't I? But I won't do that at this precise moment. Let's get the next thing out. The stinky thing came off on the wrong thing. Okay, so we have a collectible X-Men figurine thing. Uh, the last time I had something similar to this, it was the little grey army man. Can I see it a bit? Where is it? It was... Where is he? Ah, he's on top. He's right up there, next to Harley Quinn. I don't know if you can really tell, but he's next to the... Mr. T kind of looking guy. I don't know if it's actually Mr. T, uh, but I actually guessed right on it. So we'll see if I can do the same again, if it actually is a very similar thing in that it's bag. Yes, it is exactly the same in that it's bag. Right, let's have a feel. Ooh. Okay. Okay. The head moves. The head's supposed to move. Okay, so it's got ears. Uh, so I say ears, and it's got the claws. Okay, this is a wolverine down on the bottom right here. This is a wolverine here. This guy right here, this bag, because I can feel his paws and his hair, and yeah, that that one was too easy, I think. But hey ho, and it's a bobblehead. But yeah, the, these things were very easy to tell, and then his hair and stuff, but that's cool. I, I'm glad I got that right again. That's two out of two of these kind of things I've got in out of that. That's quite awesome that I've done that. I'm glad I've got a good street. I've got a street going now. Yeah? Okay, so game is called Showdown. Showdown is deck building mechanics power. This challenging bullet hell adventure combine. Adventure. Combine different characters with a customised deck of unlockable cards to boost you in new ways every battle. My well when shoots for shoots fireballs. Battle hordes of brutal foes to become a superstar in Caesar's ever changing game show. Sounds cool. I'm looking forward to playing that. That's another thing I have to do on where do I put the other thing? That thing. And then we've got the two shirts. So, we could have had a Captain Kirk, as we did get, or we could have had a Spock. Could have got either of the two. I'm, I, I kind of would have liked the blue, but I kind of like that I got the gold. Oh, I suppose it's technically a gold, so I'm a captain. Uh, and then we got all the things on the other side. So, whether you speak in awkward, stunted patterns, like Captain Kirk, I do have trouble speaking sometimes, or spread the good word to live long and prosper like Spock. This month, you'll get one of two vintage-style shirts declaring your love for the best buddy duo to hit the screen since Laurel and Hardy. Laurel and Hardy. I can't say it right. And then there's all those bits again. Yes, and now I need to find a magazine and see what's in the magazine. So yeah, that is definitely got to be player one. Uh, ready player one thing. There's the chance to win the HTC Vive and the contents in general. Something about Beetlejuice being 30 years ago? This month, apparently? Wow. Beetlejuice is 30 years old. I'm not going to say it a third time, because I think that's the thing that you do. You don't say it three times in a row. Although I suppose I did have a break, but that's not the point. More things about VR. And then the, the Pin Pals again. And we've got the Gaming Corner. And we got items. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a very big looking robot. Rental price on request. Giant Landwalker mech suit. suit. Who hasn't wanted to stomp around destroying everything in their path while safely sitting in, in at the helm of a giant mech creature? Awesome. Uh, vintage Ban Bandai me Mecha Godzilla action figure. Vintage Atari 2600 console and games. And a vintage Tomb of Horrors D and D module, but yeah, big battle suit thing. Uh, 
that's under 100 and then we go under 50 so the hitchhiker trilogy by i can't really hitchhikers hitchhiker go okay, okay yeah max headroom the complete series vintage rush two one twelve album uh tr580 computer schematic print Monty Python jewelry set, vintage Iron Giant figure. Some awesome looking things. I don't know how well I'm talking into the cam to the microphone today. I'm I'm a bit off. I think this afternoon, this evening. It's dark outside. It's evening. Then we have Void Camp. I can't speak any of these things. Machine print, War Games Blu-ray, Tiny Batman okay cabinet, vintage Tron Deadly Discs. That's pretty cool. Payton Man retro logo mug. It was a lot. It was live action. It was weird and it was wonderful. The Japanese show Spider Man was loosely based on exactly what it sounds like. It was based on, and now you can sip that all day. So like Superman and Spider Man. I don't really know. Atari Adventure Game. And then finally, pictures of people. Do I recognise any of these people? I won't be in it because I didn't do it in time because I only literally done it about a, less than a week ago. I do not recognise any of the people. Some people got white, some people got blue Castlevania shirts. Interesting. There's a cat in a box. I quite like that. Uh, over yonder. Cat in a box. And that is that. So that is the whole Geek Fuel box empty. Not just Geek Fuel box. What would I say my favourite item is? I do love this shirt. It just may not suit me quite so well. It would probably been better if it was the blue Spock one, but I like the fact that it's Star Trek. I'm a Star Trek fan. I wouldn't say I'm a Trekkie because I don't think I'm that well into it or that knowledgeable on it. But uh, the chance to win. A VR headset, that's awesome. The key, wherever I've put it, I've lost it. I'm doing good. It's also very cool. I've literally lost it, I was there. The key ring is pretty cool, I like that. Chance to win a headset, the game looks cool. He's So the favorite item has definitely got to be the fact of a while. I've got a, I got a ultra rare one. There's only a hundred of them or something. Yes, that's that's best. So, yes. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Leave your comments down below of what your favourite item is. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you want to your channel. And I shall see you in another video. Bye, bye guys.